Yeah, uh, this is Gregatron. Uh, the reason I didn't make my Assassin's Creed 3 review yet, because my brother had my copy, and usually I like to have my stuff with me, so I'm holding it and showing y'all, but I don't know when he's going to beat it, so, you know, it's 2013 now, so I got to go ahead and talk about this before it's no longer fresh in my mind. So, it was a good game. Uh, I liked the story, first of all. Uh, I like the beginning. I like playing as Hatham. Uh, great character. Uh, it was nice exploring his uh, Connor's childhood along with you know the life before him, which was Hatham. Uh, that was very cool. Really good ending. Uh, I mean, beginning. Sorry, really good beginning. Uh, and just the story itself, uh, the way Connor comes up. From a childhood to adult, it was really nice seeing that. Uh, so yeah, the story, I, I really had fun with the story. Uh, you know, some parts were really sad, which, you know, a lot of games can be sad. But, like, when his mom died in that fire, like, I was like, wow. I, like, I could not believe that. that. That was some BS to me. Like, it was so good. It just dragged me in. Like, straight from there. Even though I was already pulled in, you know. Then they had some happy moments, like, uh, when Haytham and Connor are working together, you know. Like, uh, Connor will be like, oh, I can't get in without one of the guards' outfits. I'll grab somebody's outfit who's off duty. And then he'll be like, stay here. And Haytham says, well, what else am I to do? Or, like, Haytham will be like, do you want me to give you a pat on the back? Do you want me to hold your hand? You know, he... It was just too funny. Those two were just really funny. And he's like, well, they were just some, some street thugs. If you can't defeat them, you don't deserve to fight with me. You know? And, like, there's a part when you're helping Paul Revere out. You know, you go to somebody's house. You tell them that the British are coming and everything like that. And afterwards, Paul's like, oh, uh, and uh, put on some trousers. Like, stuff like that. It was It was very funny. It was a lot of fun to me. Not many games can do that. Not many games can be sad and funny in the same game. So they they really pull that off really good. Uh, the graphics, to me, this was the best Assassin's Creed game when it comes to graphics. Uh, I really like the people's faces. You know, the, the faces had more dimension. They looked real. Uh... The voice acting was pretty good. Uh, just the forests and when there's snow and rain in general in the buildings, everything looked really good. The animals, you know, not just the hunting animals, but the cats and dogs and all that good stuff. Uh, but my favorite thing about the graphics is how it looks in the rain. Uh, when you're fighting in the rain, you know, when the lightning strikes and the thunder goes off, you know, that's that's priceless. That's one of my favorite aspects of the whole game, the how that looks in the rain. And then of course, uh, well, I'll get to the uh, ships in a little bit, but yeah, graphics really on point, real good. Uh, the gameplay was awesome. Uh, the gameplay reminded me a lot of Batman Arkham City, but that's fine because you know Batman Arkham City was one of my favorite games of 2011 so that was fine you know uh i really enjoyed the gameplay uh sword fighting was a lot more fun to me uh using the tomahawks and using the muskets i mean he he had a pretty decent arsenal you know he the, the gameplay was on point uh but what i didn't like about the game i'll start with the gameplay again uh, they kind of dumbed down his movements, you know, like in the second game and in the first game, running is RT, this is for Xbox, running is RT and then sprinting is RT and hold A, but in three, sprinting is all in one motion, you know, just pull RT, or like if you're climbing a building now, all you have to do is hit pretty much RT, so like RT does a lot more than in the other games. And now if you want to jump off, like if you're jumping from tree to tree instead of holding RT and A, now just hit RT. 
And to me, it was cool at first, but it started to bug me later down the line because, like, they tried to make the controls easier, but to me, in the long run, it was harder. Like, to me, it made it more difficult to do certain things, but that was just one little complaint. Uh, there were some glitches uh, here and there throughout the game. Like, you could be, let's say I bought his New York costume, which was the black and red costume, I believe. So I'm wearing the black and red costume or outfit, and then they'll go to a cutscene. Then Connor's in his original costume, the the white and blue one, you know. So I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I was just in a black suit. So that got annoying because, like, throughout the whole game, I was in a different costume. Then in the cutscene, they have me back into his original suit. So they could have spent more time on that. Uh, the horses. It, Sometimes it was difficult to maneuver through the forest when you're on a horse, so I'm like, man, forget this. I'll just I'll just leave the horse. I'm I'll be better off on foot, you know. So I, I don't know. They they I mean I know you're supposed to travel on the path, but there's times where I'm trying to take a shortcut where it shouldn't be that hard to maneuver through the forest, but like the horse just made stuff really, really difficult. And not every tree was climbable. Uh, I, I wanted to climb more trees, but uh, couldn't do that all the time. And uh, in this game, you can recruit assassins too, which to me was pointless. Uh, because a lot of your assassins get hurt all the time. Like, I think at the end of the game, I had four or five. And I could, rec I could uh, call on all of them for one big fight. And at the end of the fight, all of them are hurt. So I'm like, what's the point of even, you know, and, and I sent them on missions too, but it, recruiting just wasn't as good. They, they didn't need recruiting. Uh, and I mean, those are just kind of smaller complaints, but, uh, the main complaint was the ending to me, uh, both endings, Connor's ending, you know, Charles Lee was the main villain. But we already knew Charles Lee was going to die because, as a kid, uh, Connor asked him, what's your name? And then Charles says, why? Connor says, so I can find you. You know, that's what started it all. Uh, so we knew Charles was going to die. So I, I didn't get why he was the main villain. I think my battery's going to die. But, yeah, Charles Lee was just, uh, he should have been just, uh, like, just uh something to climb over like he was just an obstacle yeah that's the word i want to use he should have been just an obstacle and i thought connor's ending was going to be so much more epic uh but i guess it is what it is uh i thought you know i thought you were going to do some more work with george and those guys but i guess not um you know george could have been the main villain and I said that before that, that DLC BS was coming out. I, I was already thinking this stuff after I beat the game. That was that. Uh, Desmond's ending I didn't like either. Uh, I just expected a lot more off Desmond's end. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to choose my path. And Desmond ends up dying. And oh, I don't know. It just, it just killed it for me. Like. I was waiting for this epic conclusion for this series that I've been playing for five years. But it just was not epic at all. So, I mean, this game had everything it needed. I thought this game was going to be the best game of the year. Uh, my hopes were so high for this game, but it just wasn't. It just didn't have the same caliber as 2, you know. Uh it, there were some good things, like I said, the graphics and gameplay, but I wanted this to be the best, you know. At one point, it was my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Like, I told a guy at school, I was like, hey, man, this might be my favorite Assassin's Creed game. You know, that's how good it was. Then that ending, the two endings came, it just fell short, and I was like, man, I don't know, man. It. So, I mean, that's, that's my opinion. Uh... It had good music, too. Good music. But I would give this game a, a 8.7. I think that's pretty fair. 8.8. .8. So, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, 
if you're a fan, just a comment in the the comment box. Comment in the comment box. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later, and thanks for watching.